this is center stage. Ten-time NCAA champion Gino Oriema is here. Before we get to the uh, recruitment of Rebecca Lobo, let's talk about what was perceived, maybe it was, maybe it's more than a perception, of your feud with, with Pat Summit of Tennessee. Now, obviously, she's battling Alzheimer's disease. Right. Was that real? F feud? <laughs> I think any time uh, anytime somebody is completely dominant right. where they just dominate the landscape like Tennessee did for a number of years there's always people that are going to come and take a run at them and then when we came along it wasn't just a fly by night kind of thing we beat them four times in the championship game and it just kept escalating and escalating to the point where uh, naturally there's going to be a lot of friction there between the two programs you did not get along with her did I you think, have any interaction I think that, at all? I think that's kind of harsh. Okay. Uh, because in the beginning, before it got like that, it was there was a normal two coaches who were trying to, you know, win national championships. Then it became something other than that, and not all of it was as bad as people in the media or the fan base makes it out to be. Mm -hmm. When you're at that level, it's really hard to have like a really close-knit relationship. What did she mean to you to aim for as a coach and as a program? Well, they were the program that everybody wanted to to beat. Right. You know, um, every if you went to the Final Four, it was Tennessee and three other schools that just happened to be there. Right. Now, you know, we go there and people are all pissed because now it's Connecticut and three other schools. So, you know, I, I understand the animosity that comes from that where everybody thinks you, you just... Or the, or the elephant in the room that just dominates everything and no one else gets any attention. Who's your Gino Oriama now? Muffet McGraw. Yeah? Because they're the one team that knows day in and day out they can beat us. That's head coach of Notre Dame. Yeah, Notre right. Dame. Uh, and then naturally the same thing happened. Muffet and I are, real, you know, are, are good friends. But when it comes to that stuff, it gets in the way, believe me. The recruitment of uh, Rebecca Lobo. How yeah. tough was that? How significant was it when you got her? Everybody in the top ten wanted her. Uh, you know, a six-five kid that could pass and shoot and block shots and number one in her class as a student. I mean, who wouldn't want her? I, th I thought we had a little bit of an advantage is that uh, we were only about 45 minutes from her house. And um, we kind of hit it off because when I walked into their house, we sat down and uh, Rebecca's mom, Ruth Ann, got rest her soul says to me, I'm a guidance counselor at Granby High School. I said, yeah, I know that. Um, my best students don't go to UConn. I said, um, probably true. <laughs> and Rebecca's number one in her class. Why should she go there? That's when being Italian really helps. <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. You know, like my hands started going, words started coming out of my mouth. I had no idea what, what I was saying. <laughs> and neither did she by the time I got done. But the point that I made was come down to campus, meet some of the people, and then make your decision. Right. So they came down to campus, and we got her. Now, you got her. But her first two seasons were not what her final two seasons were. What, were, what was going on the first two? Yeah, we are just coming off the Final Four. She comes in as a freshman, and she's supposed to be like the savior. Right. And she wasn't. Mm -hmm. And we had good players, but right. we didn't have the players that we needed to have. So everything was on her, and it was a struggle. Did either of you think it was a mistake the first no, two years? No, 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 no. Okay. You, you ask her, if you call her up right now, she, she called home. Mom, he's killing me. i got to get out of here. And she said, okay. Well, then quit and come home. I'm not doing that. Well, then suck it up and figure it out. Are you a yeller to kids? Gruff and impatient, maybe. That's what I heard. <laughs> uh, I'm not necessarily a, a, a yeller and screamer. I, I think I was more like John McEnroe. I was more like, you got to be kidding me. Right. It was never, what the hell's wrong with you? You know, blah, 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 blah. Never that. In her junior year, you win the national championship. Correct. So you're a big deal then in campus. Yeah. And the men's basketball coach is a big deal, Jim Calhoun. Yeah. Was there ever any between yeah, all the you time. two? All the time. Do you two not like each other? I don't know. We don't interact with each other, so it doesn't matter. We just live in different worlds. Because we're an equal opportunity employer here, we had Jim Calhoun on. Sure. And we asked him that very question, and let's see what he said.
UConn's winning uh, men's championships, winning women's championships, and I've read stories that you and Gino Oriyama do not love each other. Is it the Patino relationship? I mean, are you guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. In all honesty, we are, we, you know, at one point, I'm starting to have grandchildren, mm -hmm. and he's got kids in Little League Baseball. I mean, kind of that simple, and, right. and, and, and it really is. I mean, he's a magnificent coach. There's no question. They've won seven championships already, and uh, he's done a great job. We just, once again, I think people expect because he's the women's basketball coach, I'm the men's, we should be buddies, and we just aren't. Could he win in a men's basketball league? That's a good question. You know, I, uh, the way he coaches and what his te women's teams do, yes. No question. They do great stuff. Could he handle a men's team? You know, I'd like to see him try it in many, many ways. And I mean that very honestly. I know that sounds differently. No, because I just think, I mean, I know I couldn't coach a women's team because I've got one woman at home. <laughs> and I don't coach her very well. I mean, I, I failed. I do. I lose. <laughs> so I, I can't coach a women's team. It's, I mean, I, I just know it. Well, I can't handle one. True. You buy that? What? Everything he said. <laughs> About what? The uh, fact... <laughs> That sometimes he, it's he hard think, to pick him up. He what he's thinks saying. you can you can win in, in the men's game because of the stuff you run. I think if you're a good coach, you're a good coach. Doesn't matter who you're dealing with, because what it is is your ability to connect with people. That's what coaching is. We'll be back in just a moment.